Have you ever wondered how to add or subtract days, working days, weeks, months, or even years from a date? So we're going to walk through all of this in this video. So let's start with days. They are the easiest and so you can take your first day plus and then you can either type the number directly into the formula just like that or you can select or click on a cell and then you can do the same thing for minus. So original date minus again, you can put a number directly in it or select a cell and you have it just like that. So work days, you can do this work day formula. You can click that start date and then select the number of working days. And optionally, you can add holidays into your sheet. And so that would be a range. And so, for example, if you want to add holidays, you could do that just like this. And you could add things like, um, let me put a couple in here for the US, something like 2025. We do 7 4 2025 and put in a couple holidays like that. And then let's go back to this work day. Select this, this, and then you could select that range of holidays. And so you could leave that even open ended so you could keep adding them and then you'll see it just like that. So with this, if we go into here, it's one, two, three, four, five working days, just like that. And so I'm going to get rid of these holidays just for now. Just so it doesn't mess us up at all. And so that's five. We go to 10 working days. Let's check that out. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 115, just like that. And so then to subtract working days, you basically use the same formula. You just put minus in front of the 10 there. And so again, you could put this directly in it if you wanted something like five working days, wherever it is, or you can use a cell. So next, let's look at weeks. So weeks is similar to days. It's just each week times seven. So we can take that start date plus, and then I'm going to wrap it in parentheses to make sure this happens first. So just like that. And then to subtract, we'll take that date minus and then our start date times seven. And so that's minus three weeks. So for months, we can use this cool little formula called E date. And we can take that month and put in the number of months just like that to subtract E date. Month and minus months. Just like that. So it works out perfectly. And if you go to the end of the month, for example, it will cycle automatically to the end of those months as well. So it automatically and quickly figures out what you want to do there. Finally, for years, we can do a very similar thing. So E date, we'll take that date. And then all we're going to do is take that year times 12. And so now we can add two years, for example, and you can see that update just like that. And then finally, end date, our year here, and then it will be this times 12, but we want this to be negative. So we'll just put that in front of there and there we go. So that's how you can add days, work days, weeks, months and or years. So that is it for today's video. Make sure to check out the other videos on our channel for more tutorials on both Google Sheets and AppScript. And as always, have a great day.